let me show you how to prepare a netlist using schematics, PSPICE schematics. On this slide, we have RLC circuit for single frequency AC analysis uh, and um, a netlist prepared manually, and we have results. Uh, a print statement uh, declares uh, that we want to print all voltages, both magnitude and, and phase, and also current in this mesh current in the circuit. So now, how to prepare this uh, netlist by means of uh, schematics? So we have to uh, create a circuit diagram using a get new part browser and uh, draw wire. This is browser and this is uh, draw wire. Um, to enable print, unfortunately, in schematics we have to add um, in special parts which are called vprint1, vprint2 or iprint. So, as you can see, now our, our circuit, very simple circuit, is quite complex because we have added one, two, three, four um, components, parts to print voltages and one component to print a current. Okay, uh, now we have, set, uh, have to set the values of circuits parts. Here we have a voltage source, its uh, root mean square value is 709 and phase angle set here is 45 degrees. To enable print and magnitude and phase, we have to set uh, one or yes. We have to print one or yes here. AC one, AC one or yes, doesn't matter. Uh, if so, uh, then these uh, parts are enabled to print uh, magnitude and phase. AC, magnitude and phase. Okay, now we have to select uh, AC sweep. And uh, as we are simulating our circuit for a single frequency, uh, the total, total points is 1 and start and frequency is the same 50 Hz. So, now we are ready to simulate our circuit, uh, save file, and then simulate. Um, please observe that schematics assigns nodes automatically, and the assignment can be found in the netlist, um, in analysis examine netlist uh, here. Uh, analysis and examine netlist, is, it's here, shown here, or in the output file. It is possible to assign another label to each node, but I'm not going to discuss this subject. So. Uh, uh, the simulation is completed. Now we may see the netlist in the output file and uh, also we may see uh, our voltages and current in the output file. Here we have a netlist. Uh, in this yellow background we have a netlist for non-schematic version. And here we have uh, part of the output file, all four voltages and current and this complete simulation now let me very briefly show you all these steps but live let me open the presentation uh, simulation piece by simulation uh, this um, data this circuit has been stored already in computer memory so i'm not going to discuss how to build the circuit because it is a very simple story we have to click uh, get new part and we have add these parts like they are placed here then we have to uh, uh, select values, uh, for example, uh, voltage source. Yes, we double click on the voltage source, its voltage root mean square value is here, and its phase angle is 45 degrees. Uh, same with uh, all other elements uh, to enable print. Uh, yes, as I've shown you before, we have to place one or yes here and one or yes here to enable magnitude and phase print. Uh, so <coughs> the circuit is nearly ready for the simulation. Uh, obviously we have to uh, select AC sweep and uh, then we have to select this frequency uh, simulation. Oh, we have to save this file and then we have to mm, uh, the file has been stored already in computer memory and we start the simulation. So when simulation is completed, we have the output file and the output file, obviously, uh, this is a trace. Uh, we don't want a trace because it is a single frequency analysis. We want an output file, examine output. 
So this is output file. And we have all these voltages and current uh, in this output file. Okay, that way we have completed this exemplary problem. I have shown you how to operate um, piecewise schematics in AC analysis.